Hello and welcome to another Minecraft themed Craft Studio tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make a Minecraft styled map. Okay? And we're actually going to try and use uh, the default Minecraft texture pack. Now, some people know where the texture pack actually is, and you have to go down into uh, on a PC, you have to go into app data, you know, percent app data and, and stuff, and, and find the invisible file there. On a Mac, you have to look for your library, uh, and online, that's an invisible library too. Here are the, uh, there's, here's a couple of um, links to show you where to find those things. But in this tutorial, I'm not going to use any of those kind of things. I'm going to, I'm going to scoop out the, the texture pack using a different method altogether. And the reason for that is, if we do use Minecraft's own jar and use the texture pack that comes out of that, this is what happens. So let's just close this down. Um, <laughs> there we go. What we see is, um, there's, I've, I've already started a little example. Um, and there's, a te there's the grass texture. Now it's, it's grey. It's got a grey top. And the reason for that is, um, Minecraft doesn't have, a t doesn't have the, uh, the actual file. If we come look close up. Just here on the on the left hand side, the first tile is all grey, and the reason for that is Minecraft, the program uses um, uh, uses another texture to tint uh, that texture, um, depending on what biome you're in. So, for example, you might be in a snowy biome, or you might be in a kind of a, a hot uh, deserty biome, and it and it changes the the green. So you could have a kind of an orangey green. Or a kind of a bluey, bluey green. I think there's sort of three types of greens uh, to sort of a deep foresty green, jungly green. So that's what that's what that's about. And unfortunately, if we use Minecraft's own one, then you have to kind of get into there. You have to probably find that and, and manually change it, which is a bit of a pain. So we're not going to do that. We're going to do we're going to something even simpler. So I'm just going to go into um, Chrome and I'm going to go to this website here, and it's called uh, JMC. 2obj.net. Okay, and what it kind of stands for? There's a, there's, there's a, it's a little program uh, used to really scoop out uh, and convert Minecraft maps and turn them into 3D objects. So you can render them in things like Blender or Cinema 4D or other kind of uh, 3D programs. Really useful. It also produces a really great texture pack of uh, of the, some of the things that the render program can use, and it's what I've done in the past. So let's get started, and I'll just show you what I mean. So if I just uh, download the latest file, so we're going to keep that. So you go to downloads up here, and you come to a page like this, and I'm just going to open that up, and here it is. And what you do is you can right uh, click here. And that gives you a kind of a list of your your worlds. So I'm just going to click on New World and press Load. Once I've got Load, I can use my right mouse button to click and drag myself across the map. I can use my click wheel to zoom in and zoom out. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a, a, a little area here with a bit of grass on. Not that I think that that matters. Make a selection, okay, and then click on Export. And now I'm not actually going to export the 3D map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export the textures. So open up this Show Texture Options, and make sure you've got you've clicked this button that says Export All Textures in a Single File. That it's useful that way. You don't have to, but it's uh, it's better that way, and you'll see why. And browse to a location that you want to save your uh, texture file. So I'm going to go on my desktop. I've got Minecraft Texture Folder here that I made earlier. And in there, I've got an empty folder called Minecraft Textures Craft Studio. So I'm going to double click that and make sure I'm saving it inside there. And then all you have to do, don't press export, there's a little uh, Minecraft thing, or you can have a custom texture pack if you've got one loaded. Click on Minecraft. You'll see a little progress bar shooting across there. And if I, um, if I open that up, you should see it's produced this little file here. Um, called text, and we double click that, and there's our texture fo file. And you can see that it's produced um, a lovely, oops, um, not only the the kind of default textures, but also it's produced the, all the green shades at the top. Uh, you've got some, uh, you've got your ender chest, you've got your chests, and you've got some mobs as well down the bottom, and all, also some of the pictures, and and flames, and uh, and, and a zombie by the way as well. Okay, and a boat. 
So it's produced a whole variety pack of different things that you uh, that are going to be useful for when we're going to make things in Craft Studio. So that's I think the easy way of getting our textures sorted out. Thank you very much. And if you want to uh, if you want to do more stuff with this kind of stuff, there's loads of tutorials on the web, and I might even produce one myself. So let's pop back into Craft Studio and uh, and show you how it's all made. Okay, now we're ready to create our map in Craft Studio. So first things first, let's let's, make, let's close this down here and go to our Map tab, and I'm going to go here and create a map. So I'm going to call this Minecraft Map, Craft Map, and press Create. Uh, and at the moment, there's nothing here at all, nothing at all. And the reason is I haven't got any tiles selected. So I need to go up here, and I could have done this in the last dialog box as well, but let's do it now. And it says Select Tile Set. So this is our original one, which we don't want uh, because of the grass problem. What we want to do is we want to create a new tile set. We're going to call this Minecraft. Oops, did I spell it right? Uh, we'll leave the tile size at 16 and we'll press Create. And we'll press Close. Now at the moment there's nothing in there because let's lift this up and lift this across. Our texture is empty. So what we need to go is go to our Minecraft Textures. Minecraft Texture Craft Studio. Go into Textures here. Open this up in something like Paint. And in Paint, I want to select all and copy it. And then I can go back into Craft Studio and go into my Paint. Click into this window here and then Control V to paste it in. Let's zoom in and make sure that's connected up nicely. So just connected to the left top left hand corner here and then just click the paintbrush to sort of fix that in place. Brilliant, let's go back to our blocks. Now as you can see almost automatically it's created a load of blocks for us and we can start using these straight away. So if we click into this window here uh, and use uh, these keys down here for moving around I can immediately start kind of building. Uh, let's put some red wool in there as well. I can kind of build, just like you would in Minecraft, uh, generate a map, okay, or generate a structure really. But this structure is going to be a map that your character or game objects are going to be walking around uh, and, uh, and interacting with. Now we don't want we what we want to do is we want to kind of modify some of these up here because they don't really look like Minecraft blocks. For example, this is the grass block at the moment. And that doesn't really look like grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how how we can uh, we can change this so it looks like a proper grass block with dirt underneath. So I've selected this tile and let's have a little look down here. So at the moment the unwrap mode is collapsed which means it just it, it, all the sides of the block are surround this one uh, this one part of the pixels here. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to make it custom. And the reason for making it custom is if I click into it there's our front. I'm going to drag the front across here and the back and the right and the bottom and the left. Oops, what else have we got? And the top. So we can see we've got these elements here, and what I want to do is the top is going to stay put, the left is going to go over to this side here, to the side of the grass, um, the bottom goes at the bottom uh, of this dirt block here, there we go, and the right of course goes over to the side of the grass block. It's grass on top, dirt underneath. Front is exactly the same. And the back is exactly the same. So if we click into our our editor, we can see it looks pretty good. It looks pretty much like a, a grass block. And let's um uh, let's pop a couple on top as well and then delete them so you can see the underneath. 
So it's now behaving and looking like, well not behaving, but it's, it's starting to look like um, a, a kind of Minecraft block. So you can use that uh, technique of the uh, using the unwrap mode uh, and uh, create other environmental pieces for your map. Okay, so as an example of what can be achieved when doing a map, here's my uh, here's my example project of a little map, very very small map of an island floating in space. Okay, uh, done with um, done with all the uh, all the different blocks, and we've even got uh, let's have a look over here. We've even got uh, oops, take that away. We've even got st uh, half uh, step blocks, and the way to get get them is if we look in here, we've got a shape. Uh, and this says cube at the moment, but you've also got a pane, a pane corner, stairs and stairs and vertices. You've got all these different options. So let's just pop down to so here. That's our block, and it's a stairs block. Okay. And uh, let's lift this up. And we can kind of zoom in. And where's it gone? Where's it gone? That's. Uh... Oh, I think it's over here. No, I've lost it. Lost it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Okay, so the, so here's my stairs block, and you can see um, there's the block there, uh, and I've collapsed it. It's just so it's just over one block, and that all works very nicely. So do experiment with these. Um, what other blocks have I got in here that are kind of interesting? Oh yeah, for the leaves block over here. So uh, let's go and find my leaves. Uh, there it is. And that is here, and you can see that it's actually transparent. And the reason it's transparent is if you go into paint. So I'm going to do it with uh, leaves next door, so you can kind of see uh, and, how, and understand how how I did it. So we here's our leaves block there. We go into paint, and there's an eraser here. And if you go very carefully inside it, you can. Well, I'm I'm erasing the white sections. Okay, and once you've done that and erased them all, then we can go into, you can place that block down. And although it looks like Minecraft, remember it's not Minecraft at all, I can actually go all the way through, oops, all the way through these blocks, they're not real, it's just a map editor. So that's our block there, and you can see the parts that I've, done, I've, uh, I've erased, you can start to see them. Uh, and over here, let's go back into paint and keep on erasing them. And as you see, as I'm erasing them here, you can see it's being erased there. The map, the map making tool is, is great for this. Now let's take this map and put it into a scene. Um, and to create a scene, I've got a scene here. You go to this tab here, and I've created one already. So let's double click this. And this is my example scene. And we see that I've populated it, and I've even put uh, a couple of objects in. So I put my Minecraft character in, standing there at a pillar, and I've also put a collapsed pillar in. So let's just go back and have a look at a collapsed pillar. So right down the bottom I've got a broken pillar. So I designed this broken pillar um, just like I would design a Minecraft character. There it is. So you can see it's made up of these blocks and you can also see that each block I uh, I use the same texture pack and I just kind of create it from there and I made these little blocks um, from uh, these guys down here okay uh, and they're custom up unwrap mode for them and I just put them at different angles uh, so this is what you what you can't do in Minecraft but uh, you can do in Craft Studio and it makes it makes for something quite uh, quite interesting, quite a rich experience. Uh, and eventually we'll be able to animate this this guy here as well. Um, so so and I've also put uh, a sky map in as well. So if I zoom out, I don't know if I can zoom right out. It's, it's massive. I made this uh, basically. Here's the sky, and the sky is a giant uh, cube. I'll, I'll just show you here. There's the sky, and we'll just open that up. And the sky is just a cube like this, but if you go inside it, um, it looks like a, a star field. So in our scene, there's our sky, and it's surrounding. It's actually 
a square, so that's a, a flat area uh, and six sides. But it looks kind of great, uh, and it gives that kind of lovely optical illusion uh, of the sky. In our next tutorial, I'll show you how I put all this together within a scene, how to create a scene, uh, and also we'll kind of start looking at kind of animation and how to put the animation together, and also how to put a camera in this scene and then export the whole thing. Uh, so we've either got a movie or we've got uh, a game, or at least something where we can control this character with our keys on our keyboard.